here right now with lovely author Tilly Green. Hi, hi Tilly. So how are you enjoying Authors After Dark in Savannah? I always love AAD. It's just I've been going to them since the very first one and I just really enjoy seeing people that I saw and meeting new people and it's just one of those that I may be exhausted but it's all good. <laughs> what events are you looking forward to? Well, I was actually a bit anxious about the riverboat. I get seasick, and so when I said I'd be a hostess, I really kind of forgot that part. <laughs> <laughs> so it went well. I did not get sick or anything. I had fun. I had a great time. So that that's done. I can relax. Okay. Oh <laughs> Put my feet up. Dessert on there. Yeah, there was, but I never got to the desserts. I only yeah. did the cocktail, one cocktail, and it was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta walk back to the hotel. Okay. <laughs> Are you wearing any costumes to the ball? You know, this is the first year I am. I never wear costumes. I'm just not a costume person. But a few of us went to a different conference, and they have a leather maker who made leather masks, and it's all flames. So it's like cut out to go like flames down, and they found a cute little orange dress, and I thought, oh, I'll go as fire. Oh, so, yes. I can't wait to see that tomorrow. Although I'll have to wear the mask over the eyeglasses. Oh he said, oh no, you need to take them off. And I went, mm, mm, no. <laughs> I need to wear those. Yeah. Need to know where I'm lying. <laughs> so there are a lot of authors here at Authors After Dark. Any you've gone fangirl over? You know, I kind of just am very calm when I meet them. But when I see the list, I go, <gasps> But I just, for some reason, AAD just is like, hey, how are you? Nice to meet ya. And so I keep it calm, no fangirl thing, no embarrassing squeals, but when I get home I'll go, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And I know your latest release was Love of Bride. Yeah. Can you Thank talk you. a little bit about it? Yeah, Love of Bride. I do a series about ladies in fashion world, not particularly fashion clothes. And this one, she was a, a muse for a leather maker in New York City way back when he was like not much and now he's a bit bigger and he does kind of like his swan song of the of, of fashion show because they move where the where they did their shows and so it takes place in New York City library and she just gets naughty I'm sorry just saucy and you know it's one of those that yes it is an erotic romance <laughs> so it's a bit naughty but it's um, it's all about her as the muse. She's an accountant in real life that likes leather, and her boyfriend, who is a architect for Green, they get energy efficient, and so he disappears, and she's all flustered, can't quite handle it, and does the show anyways, because you know promised, and then it just goes spiraling from there. <laughs> And I know you have a release coming up. Um, I do. Well, actually, Finding Home is out, but it's I adore these two because he was my my it's my military. I have a neighbor with three sons, two are Marines, and when they went away to Afghanistan, I went because <gasps> <laughs> I knew them when they were like five and seven, oh. and you know. So it's like my babies are going off to war. And so I just wrote a story to kind of commemorate them so it's not as raunchy as my other ones can be, but it does have a lot, have a lot, a lot of heat. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you. You're very and welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us. Absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our readers? Yeah, I knew you were going to ask me that question. You can pose. I can be found at, w at www.tillagreen, with an E, Dot com, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter, and I do play on Pinterest. I have to admit that's a bit of an obsession of mine. Oh, pretty picture. <laughs> so I am around, and I do try to answer everybody who asks me, but I may be a little slow sometimes, depending on the workload. Go for it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you.